Hello, friends. Nice to see you again. Today we will learn animals that start with the first letter D. Before we continue, please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you. The first animal that start with the letter D is the dog. The dog is one of the most popular animals in the world. It was one of the first animals to be domesticated or trained for use by humans. The dog's scientific name is Canis familiaris. It is related to the coyote, wolves, foxes, and jackals. People around the world keep dogs as pets, guards, or work animals. Some dogs, called feral dogs, do not live with people. These homeless dogs often roam around in groups, called packs. One type of dog, called the dingo, lives in the wild in Australia. The dog is a mammal with sharp teeth an excellent sense of smell, and a fine sense of hearing. Each of its four legs ends in a foot, or paw, with five toes. Each toe has a soft pad and a claw. A coat of hair keeps the dog warm. It cools off by panting and hanging its tongue out of its mouth. There are more than 400 different breeds of dog. Some of the most popular breeds are Beagle, Boxer, Bulldog, Dalmatian, German Shepherd, Poodle. Dogs are carnivores, which means that they eat meat. Pet dogs eat dog food made with meat products. Wild dogs hunt animals. Dogs claim territory and mark it as their own. They do this by urinating and rubbing their scent on things. But dogs also like to be around people and other dogs. People can even train dogs to obey simple commands. Dogs make many sounds, including barks, howls, and growls. They also use movements to communicate. For example, when a dog wags its tail, it is happy. If it shows its teeth and growls, it is making a threat. Working dogs do many other jobs today. Some sniff bags in search of explosives or drugs. Others track missing people. Guide dogs help blind people to get around. The next animal that start with the letter D is the donkey. The donkey is a member of the horse family. The words donkey and ass are used to identify the same animal. However, the term donkey is used for domesticated or tamed animals. The term ass is more often used when the animal is wild. A donkey can carry heavy loads over rough land. The donkey can handle the uneven ground of the mountains better than a horse can. The average donkey stands 40 inches at the shoulder, but different breeds vary greatly in size and shape. Donkeys range from white to gray or black in color. The next animal that start with the letter D is the duck. The water birds called ducks are related to geese and swans. There are about 100 species or types of duck. They are found almost all over the world. Many types migrate or fly long distances to spend different seasons in different regions.
Ducks, geese, and swans are called waterfowl in North America and wildfowl in Europe. These birds have stout bodies and webbed feet. Soft inner feathers called down protect them from cold. A gland near the tail produces oil. This oil helps protect the outer feathers from water. Many types of duck feed at the water surface. They dip their heads below the surface while tipping up their tails. These ducks are called dabbling ducks. They eat mainly plants and insects. They include mallards, black ducks, teals, pintails, and shovelers. Ducks that dive deep into the water are called diving ducks. Some types eat mostly fish and live on the open seas. These sea ducks include mergansers, scoters, and eiders. Other diving ducks stay close to shore. Ducks are the smallest of the waterfowl. For instance, the mallard is a fairly large duck at about 24 inches long. Ducks' legs are set far back on their bodies. This helps them swim well but makes them waddle when walking. A baby duck of either gender is called a duckling or chick. A group of ducklings on land is called a brood. Ducklings can't fly, but once they can, a group in the air is called a skein, team, or flock of ducks. On water, the group is called a paddling, raft, or team of ducklings. The next animal that start with the letter D is a deer. Deer are the only animals that can grow large antlers. They are hoofed mammals that belong to the scientific family Cervidae. Deer have large ears, short tails, and long, slender legs. On each foot, they have two small and two large hooves. Deer usually have smooth, brown fur. White areas often cover the chest and throat. Some types have a shaggy coat, especially in the cold seasons. The males of most species grow antlers, which are bony growths on the head. Female reindeer also grow antlers. Male deer use their antlers to fight other males for a chance to mate with females. Deer shed their antlers and grow a new set each year. Deer eat only plant material, for example, grass, twigs, and bark. They chew their food, swallow it, and then bring it back up from the stomach in a form called cud. After chewing the cud, they swallow it again. Most deer live in small family groups, though the males generally spend some time alone. In warm climates, deer mate at any time of the year. In colder climates, they breed in autumn or winter. In many parts of the world, some types of deer are endangered or at risk of disappearing. Possible causes include too much hunting and the clearing of the land where the deer lived. The last animal that start with the letter D is the dragonfly. Dragonflies are insects that have long bodies, transparent wings, and large eyes. There are over 5,000 species of dragonflies that are part of the scientific infrorder called Anisoptera. Because dragonflies are insects, they have six legs, a thorax, a head, 
and an abdomen. The abdomen is long and segmented. Despite having six legs, the dragonfly doesn't walk very well. It is a great flyer, however. Dragonflies can hover in one place, fly extremely fast, and even fly backwards. They are some of the fastest flying insects in the world reaching speeds of over 30 miles per hour. Okay, that's all for today. Now we have learned animals that start with the letter D. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel. Goodbye.